Hello, Vile 2870 students. This is Dr. Crozier with a quick instructional video on how to use dynamic study modules. So what are dynamic study modules? Dynamic study modules are another tool from Pearson that you get access to through your MyLab and Mastering account. Simply click on MyLab and Mastering. Click Open MyLab and Mastering. The instructor view looks a little different from the student view, so I'm going to switch over to a screenshot of the student view. You should be able to see in the top right hand corner a link to dynamic study modules. On the instructor view it shows lower down on the page, but it's the same link. It may take a second to load, but a new window should open. Here you have a number of live links. You can scroll past these first ones called gap finders down to where the title is listed as chapter number and these correspond to the chapters of our textbook. Under each link you should find two additional links or modules. For example, chapter 1 has module 1 on sections 1.1 through 1.4 and module 2 on 1.5 through 1.8. These are two cumulative tests or exams covering approximately half of the chapter each and that is the case for all of the chapters. If I scroll down for example to chapter 4 you can see module 1 is a test on sections 4.1 through 4.5 and module 2 is a test on sections 4.6 through 4.9. It gives you an estimation of how long it should take to complete that module. These are much like midterm exams. These are probably more similar to a midterm exam than any of the practice quizzes or my lab and mastering quizzes that we have on a weekly basis. There are multiple choice questions. For example, all of the following are examples of loose connective tissue except, and you can choose from five options. Now notice that really there are only four options for answers and then the choice of I don't know yet. These do not count for points, they're simply practice, but I think they're very realistic compared to exams. In fact, I would recommend when you take these that you actually put your hand over the answers and think about the question and try to uh, see whether or not you can answer the question without looking at the options. This is more like an exam context. Try to do these closed book. Try to do these after you finish studying chapters 4.1 through 4.5 leading up to an exam in the last few days to put yourself through the experience of taking an exam with the Respondas Lockdown Browser. So here you would look at the choices and perhaps you think it's areolar uh, tissue. You would be wrong but you could click on it. Your first click will fill in half the bubble. Click once if you're unsure, click twice if you are sure. You can submit up to two choices if you're unsure of your answer. All right, so I could choose this or this because I'm unsure, or I could say I'm sure it's this. Now, if you are unsure and you get it wrong, the impact isn't as significant as when you are incorrect and you are sure that you have the right answer. So let me just say I'm unsure about this, and I hit submit. It will say you are unsure and incorrect. Now notice at the top there is a progress bar. If I open this up, it gives me more detail. My accuracy right now is 40%. Why? I was wrong, but I wasn't confident that I was right. So it didn't impact me. If I said I was sure and incorrect, my progress would be zero. But it tells me I haven't mastered any questions. I have one in progress and I have 33 questions that I haven't seen yet. So I can move on to the next question. I could also choose I don't know. The basic shape of cells in epithelial tissue are columnar, squamous, or cuboidal. Well, all of the listed responses are correct. I'm sure of that. I submit it, and I was sure, and I was correct. Congratulations, you just completed your first question. Notice on the progress bar I've mastered one of these. My accuracy has gone up substantially. I can move on to the next question. The human body consists of how many basic tissue types? Again, if I'm sure, I can submit and you can see now my progress is going on. So it tells you how many questions are, are to come. It's monitoring your speed and saying that uh, it estimates it'll take you about 38 minutes to complete this. But this is much more like a, like a, a, a midterm exam experience. So I recommend if you have a chance, go to your My Lab and Mastering and click on Dynamic Study Modules and use these as assessments after you finish studying a chapter to review to see how well you've retained the content. Maybe do one of these at the end of each week leading up to the exam. In any case, those are dynamic study modules, and I hope you find those beneficial to you.